Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a winter storm that is growing in size that is expected to bring upwards of 8 to 10 inches of snow to parts of the Rocky Mountains, Central Plains and the Midwest over the next few days. Additionally some major travel impacts are expected out of this and as well as an Arctic blast that'll bring wind chills as low as zero degrees in parts of the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the Central Plains which is where this winter storm right now is located actually most of the activity is located over the Rocky Mountains but we have plenty of cloud cover that is beginning to really start to spread apart here across much of the Central Plains this is where your low pressure system's located it's going to be located around the Rocky Mountains a little bit maybe west of that and that is again where a lot of the snow is falling right now and over the next 24 hours this system is very slowly going to move to the south and east and it'll eventually go into the central plains where we are going to see some heavy snowfall across parts of the central plains and even parts of oklahoma so keep that in mind there will be some snow there now back down into the southeast we actually have a lot of moisture spanning from the gulf of mexico all the way back through even the, the east coast and what we are looking at right now is a system that is going to develop over the next 24 to 48 hours strong southerly winds should allow for enough moisture for there to be some showers and maybe even some storms across florida Florida as we go later this weekend so again if you have any outdoor plans this weekend just keep that in mind back over to the northeast overall pretty dry up there there is some cloud cover but that's about it again a little bit more of a cloudy day is expected and on the west coast we're not really looking at much it's dry overall and we don't really have any cloud cover so some good news there for those that are across the west coast in terms of the temperatures for today if you have any black friday shopping plans a lot of areas will be cold many areas will require a jacket this is just the temperatures this does not include wind chills notice many areas even in the rocky mountains dropping into the teens today that's again high temperatures not low temperatures even in the chicago area you only a jacket it's going to be in the 30s and then back down the southern plains and the southeast many areas in the 60s maybe a couple of 70s in south florida for today all right let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the foreseeable future and look at that we're going to look at the jet stream and right now our low pressure system is located just off to the west of the rocky mountains and that is again where our ongoing winter storm basically resides in Obviously, most of the snow right now is falling, though, across Wyoming and Colorado. We also have a low pressure system back up here to the northeast in Canada. And actually, this is where a lot of the Arctic air mass does reside. We have wind chills right now, uh, 20 to 10 degrees below zero in much of Canada. So this would be what is really causing much of the colder weather. But even then, this low pressure system here will bring a cold shot of air to much of the central and southern plains and even parts of the Midwest, the northern plains and the Ohio Valley. Now, over the next few days, this low pressure system System will move across much of the central plains it is going to race off to the east and weaken as it moves towards the great lakes like the midwest and again potentially the northern ohio valley once we go into sunday now as we go into monday into tuesday very strong jet stream here's again where your arctic air mass is going to be located the good news is if you're not looking forward to really cold weather this is not expected to really drop into the united states a whole lot but we will still see some colder weather it just will not be the coldest that it technically could be this would be a well below average air mass that we're looking at back up in Canada. That should not really impact the United States much. If it does, it would be really the northern Great Lakes, so maybe the upper Michigan Peninsula and maybe northern New England. That would be a bad all for that. Once we go into Wednesday and the Thursday of next week, we will be watching for another storm over the Rocky Mountains by around Thursday or Friday. Granted, we're still a week out. Things could change. Now, if we see something like this, severe weather could be in play, but it also depends on where it goes. Does this track more toward the Dixie Alley does, or does this track more toward the Midwest? Again, that is where where the uncertainty lies so stay tuned we'll keep posted with the latest but let's focus more on what is upcoming and we're going to talk more about that winter storm the national weather service has already issued plenty of watches and warnings and advisories ahead of this winter storm the pink boxes represent your winter storm warnings and those now do officially include parts of central kansas so we now have that in place winter weather advisories are in effect for northwestern oklahoma back in even the texas panhandle and there are also winter storm watches in effect for more of central and eastern parts of Kansas. I would expect at least more winter weather advisories later today across eastern Kansas, maybe even north and western parts of Missouri. And eventually going to tomorrow, we might even get some advisories going across parts of the Midwest ahead of the potential for some snowfall. So again, if you're looking forward to snow and if you're any in those boxes there, you have a pretty good chance of seeing some snow. Now let's go hour by hour, giving you an idea of when it's going to snow here across the central plains and the Midwest and how much snow will actually fall and where the travel impacts will be the greatest. And we're going to begin with really
really around lunchtime today and overall we're not looking at a whole lot of snow I would say this afternoon overall a lot of the snow that's going to be falling is across Nebraska northwest Kansas and all that snow is going to be pretty light it's not going to accumulate very fast but with that being said if it snows for six to eight hours straight even if it's only a half an inch of snow per hour that's going to add up pretty quickly so keep that in mind this is as we go into the afternoon hour so once we get closer to Black Friday shopping around sunset or so that snow's not going to move much and notice all the heavier snow is actually back over in the Rocky Mountains and that is where we're going to be seeing upwards of a foot of snow potentially even greater in some spots now as we go overnight tonight that snow band will start to move a bit to the east so it's going to be stationary for most of today but overnight into the morning hours on Saturday snow will start to move across into eastern Nebraska and we'll begin to notice some moderate heavy snow bands developing across much of Kansas and as well as the Texas Panhandle and eventually into the Oklahoma Panhandle this is right around eight o'clock tomorrow morning notice most of the snow is starting to really ramp up there across northwest Oklahoma one of the biggest things that we'll have to watch for is that transition line between rain and snow that'll really give us a great idea on how much snow you might actually see because if you are even 20 miles north of that rain and snow line you might see a lot more snow if you're you know 20 miles south of that you might not see any snow there's gonna be a pretty sharp gradient there between who actually sees maybe a few inches of snow and who sees just a lot of rain with maybe a few snowflakes mixing in this is around lunchtime so again notice a lot more moderate snow is going to be starting to fall across much of Kansas you'll notice all the darker blues there that would represent again heavier snowfall going into the evening hours snow continues again that rain snow line will push as far south as Oklahoma City however I don't expect any accumulation in Oklahoma City maybe a minor coating on elevated surfaces and eventually as we go into Sunday morning most of this activity is moving into the Midwest here's what we're looking at in terms of snowfall totals and notice the HR model is spewing out a lot of snow I do not think we'll be looking at upwards of eight inches of snow across a very large area here I think that'll be much more isolated amount what I think is more realistic is that most areas in here will see between one to three inches of snow with some isolated locations going between four to six inches of snow now obviously up here it's gonna be a bit colder overall and the surface will be cold enough for it to accumulate quicker so we might see this a bit more likely with about four to six inches but back down in Oklahoma I think we're gonna be more in the one to three inch range with maybe a couple areas getting closer to four to five inches and then again the main reason why is because the surface is gonna be pretty warm even though it's gonna cool down to it to the point where we can see snow I just don't think it's gonna be a quick enough transition in those areas for us to see upwards of a foot of snow or anything like that here where the travel impacts will be the greatest uh, orange would represent a moderate travel impact going into this weekend this will be minor so again just be mindful if you're traveling on the roadways there will be some travel impacts even near Oklahoma City we might see some limited travel impacts but it would be pretty minor overall it'd be a pretty typical sort of travel impacts when it comes to rain now going into the Midwest for the future radar this system will be much quicker as it goes across the Midwest notice by Sunday morning we have snow out there a lot of snow by the way the NAM 3k model is indicating a pretty large swath here of snowfall stretching from Missouri all the way back through the upper Michigan Peninsula but don't be too caught up with this because it's not going to be very slow it's going to move very fast notice as we go into Sunday afternoon this is over a span of seven or eight hours the snow is already almost out of Illinois and it's also going to be very light snow so we're really not going to see a lot of accumulation out of this and even though the NAM model shows a lot of snow over a large area again it's going to be very very light overall so what we're looking at in terms of snowfall accumulation well again these are some early estimates but again it's not going to be anything too crazy we're talking maybe a coating of snow across Indiana and parts of Michigan and also Illinois and also again really anywhere in these in the Midwest upwards of maybe two to three inches of snow in some isolated locations heaviest of the snowfall will probably be in northern and western Illinois and as well as parts of Wisconsin that's where I think the heaviest of the snowfall will be and possibly even western Michigan as well where we might see some lake effect snow mixing in there but again make sure you stay tuned we'll keep you posted with the latest here make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video